I'm JD, the Media Jack, and welcome to episode 13 of the Media Jack podcast. We're going to speak to Lainey Gray today, an incredible adult film star who had humble beginnings out of simple curiosity and also wanting to express herself and share with the world herself. But before we get into that, thank you once again to everyone who supports me on Patreon, as well as everyone who has purchased something from the Media Jack online store. Now, if you'd like to purchase something or check it out, there's got to be something there for you as we have a wide variety of clothing as well as workout gear from the Media Jack line, which still, this is one of my favorite shirts. It's very comfortable as well as venting as normal and the iron bikini. Also, if you'd like to just straight out support me on Patreon, there's a link on the website, themediajack.ca. And you can get a shout out just like Red Wolf Don, who's the executive producer for this episode. As well, you can get your questions answered by any one of the guests I have in the future, all on Patreon. So again, thank you so much to everyone who has either purchased something from the Media Jack store or supported me on Patreon. Again, all the links are available at themediajack.ca. Without further ado, this is episode 13 of the Media Jack podcast with the beautiful, wonderful Lainey Gray. Hi, I'm Lainey Gray. I am from California and I've been in the adult industry for about four years now. July will be four years. And you've created quite the uh, reputation. You started off as a cam girl. Am I, am I right? Well, technically, I started out as a Tumblr girl. Um, I Tumblr was my, like, I guess, entrance to the sex work industry. Mm-hmm. Um, I started just posting on there and doing, you know, custom videos, custom Snapchats, or like private Snapchats. Um, and that's when I started camming so i didn't start camming in for i want to say like eight months i was just doing strictly tumblr and private snapchat for yeah oh shit sorry what (laughs) what happened (laughs) i hit my my ring hit something oh i didn't even hear it it's fine (laughs) (laughs) that was really loud sorry (laughs) no no we're good we're good uh i appreciate your professionalism um But with that, I mean, like starting off as a Tumblr girl, taking uh, specific uh, requests and then moving into uh, cam work, I'm guessing, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I'm guessing it's just like that's kind of where your career was headed. Yeah. I mean, it's it's always kind of been in the back of my mind, like, you know, it would be be cool to shoot porn like professionally and meet all these cool people and shoot this cool shit, you know, Mm -hmm. Um but I never thought that it would be like actually possible, you know? Um, and I felt really safe and, um, it was a little bit lonely, you know, cause it's just you in your room. Like, but I could just be creative and set my room up how I wanted to. And, and it was fun to create things for people that, you know, they would have their, it just that's like I, I want this from you and I don't want it from anybody else I want it from you and it's like oh that's cool like I want to make porn for you that you're gonna really like mm. so it does it did kind of just gradually like I got more comfortable on camera and like camming I think was a really great way for me to explore like things that I liked sexually and just dirty talking and being like you know creating like this persona I guess mm. in a way like mm. You know, Lainey Gray kind of started as a cam girl, and that's kind of where I found my place, I guess. I don't know. It's, yeah, you're right to think that that's, <laughs> <laughs> I go on a lot of tangents. I should say that. I'm just... No, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Um, you know, honestly, like, um, you, you'd be surprised how many people uh, I have spoken to in different industries, but in a performative industry have actually like found their new selves by portraying a almost avatar of mm-hmm. themselves. It's basically like, as the saying goes, like themselves only turned up to 11 yes. and they actually find this new energy and new confidence by basically faking it until they make it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah, 
like being on cam it's like I can kind of be who I want to be like I can portray myself as who I want to be like right. I love being this just like a kind happy go lucky like person and you know my life wasn't really like that outside of my like on cam I'm like oh I can just relax and be happy mm. because when I turn the camera off then I'm like well now I got to deal with all my fucking shit that I'm you know <laughs> so I can't I can't be this happy lucky you know oh I just love my life and I love masturbating I can't do that <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah, why, why does this boring life have to get in the way of my happiness right yeah exactly <laughs> What was the uh, the big change though? Because uh, like going from uh, and honestly, like you're the first person to tell me that they got their start on Tumblr, and this was way before Tumblr went. No, nope, no more of this adult stuff, and yeah. took a massive hit. But uh, going from Tumblr to Cam to starting to actually break into the professional realm of the adult industry, like what was the change? That's a great question. Um, I guess the change was. So I was dating this guy who I'm not dating anymore. And we just really started to bash heads all the time. Like he was really against me. Um, he was like, I don't, don't, don't even want you camming. I don't even really like you posting online. Like, mm. um, you know, he didn't want me to buy dildos that were bigger than me. Like, and it just kind of bigger, bigger than you or bigger than him. Oh, sorry. Bigger than him. <laughs> Okay. Bigger than him. I don't have a penis. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, you just just clarifying. Just I mean, no, and 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 no hate. Yeah, no hate. No, none, 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 none whatsoever. But I mean, like, just just to go off of that tangent because I like to tan tangent as well. Uh, I mean, women do actually like they either as a a fetish or a preference or a challenge or anything like that. They do sometimes seek out uh, toys that are substantially larger than what they're used to. So I, I was just, I was just clarifying. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's a thing. I mean, yes. I, yeah, like it's, it's nice to be filled up, you know, it's, <laughs> it's doesn't mean you want all the time, Yeah, but sometimes it's, it's nice. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> he, it, him and I just, I, I, I was really thinking about it. Like mm. I thought about joining the industry every day. Like I would, I started following like porn girls on Twitter and agents and different porn companies. And I was just really getting in, like involved, like on the social media aspect, right. I guess. Like, so I was kind of, the girls would post like, I'm on set, you know, like this is what we're doing. And it just really seemed like a lot of fun for me. And I guess the universe just kind of, it kind of happened because there wasn't really a change like my ex and I broke up hmm. the elite, the lease at my apartment was ending. I had just met this girl on the campsite that I still came on her boyfriend. Uh, he n was in the industry and he knows my agent. So everything just kind of was happening at once. Like, I'm like, well, I need to find a new place. Now I have contact with this agent that wants to meet me mm -hmm. um, and she's in LA. Like I live in LA. Like what? This is all like, it's all happening for me right now. Like I need to yeah. do it. Yeah. I need to just take that fucking leap. And I did. And I, I took the Uber down to her office. And during this whole time I was like, I was so fucking stressed because I thought I was going to be homeless. Like I'm like, I have two weeks to find an apartment. Right. I I have, you know, a week to get all my shit together and like figure out if I want to do this or not because Sandra's like, I need an answer. Yeah. Like if you stay in LA, I will rep you. Um it just it's like you want to do this or not. And I'm like, I fucking got like I need to make a decision. Yeah. So I had been thinking about it and thinking about it and finally just the universe was like, Okay, well, here, do you really want to do it or not? Like, mm -hmm. let's see. So I was like okay i i yeah it was like i just camming is fun and it it just was kind of just stagnant like it's fun to do but i wanted to take it to the next level and i really think that porn it, it's that for me so yeah like it just it just all kind of happened like it, it yeah there wasn't really a significant change i guess just the the only thing that did change was just like i i really wanted 
to be more social, I guess, like in the sex work industry, I guess. I was just getting so lonely. I'm like, man, I really want to do something else, I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah, you were, you were talking about the fact that working at you know, cam work and whatnot, you're in a room by yourself with a camera and sure mm-hmm. you have a chat fee like over right. here and uh, you know, that's, that's, that's a connection, but a very yes. vague limited. connection, limited connection. Exactly. So yeah, I guess that like, makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's fun, but yeah, you're like, well, I mean, it's just like you and I right now, like we're talking to each other, but I am still alone <laughs> in ways, you know, like it's, yeah, yeah. there's, there is interaction, but it, yeah, it's not like, I love getting up and being like, oh, I get to go to this dope ass house and I get to fucking see this crew that I fucking love. And I get mm-hmm. to work with this guy or this girl. It's like, it's going to be great. And yeah, it's, it's a lot more, it's a lot more fun. Well, good. I'm not saying that candy isn't fun. <laughs> you know, no, now you have variety. Now you have options and choices, right? You can, you can uh, do your own work at home and then you can, cur- you can have that connection and travel and, and work with yeah. incredible people. Yes. I love the traveling aspect so much. I just was in Florida. Like, oh, wow. I got to fucking go uh, kayaking. And, oh, like, wow. It was, it was dope. I felt like I was in the Amazon jungle. It was, I'm like, damn, I would have never gotten to do this if yeah. it wasn't for porn. Like, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. Uh, can I ask a, a quick question uh, referring back to uh, your ex? And I don't want to get personal, but when you yeah. met him, were you? Did he, was he aware of what you did for a living? Uh, so I actually met him before I even started. Oh, okay. Uh, we were, I probably met him when I was 16, 17. Okay. Still in high school. Um, and when I turned 18, I, I mean, I already had a Tumblr account right. when I was like 17, 16. Like I would read blog, you know, like the, the kinky stuff and, mm-hmm. I did never post anything um, until I was 18. Like I right. was like, not, not gonna, no. No, um, no, no. You, you were smart enough to know not to get yourself into trouble. Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. I like, I saw so many things about like this. This girl actually started when she was 16. Like there's pictures of her, and I'm like, I'm not. I don't want no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no underage no. pictures. But yeah, you know, when I, when I turned 18, and I, I, I was like, you know what, my what if I just posted my bustle on the internet? You know, just. like what if, what if I did that? And I, I started out with no face because um, hmm. I, I had a vanilla job. You know, I worked at Starbucks. Oh. Um, and I was like, you know, fucking barely scraping by, just, you know, figuring out if I actually wanted to go to college or not. Hmm. And yeah, so I, I kind of kept it a secret from my ex, which looking back, I shouldn't have done. I should have just told him like, hey, you know, I'm posting nudes on the internet anonymously and now I'm like accepting money for things. And yeah. so he ended up, fi- he found out, like he would he would go through my phone. Oh. And, uh, yeah, without me knowing. There were a lot of red flags that I just, <laughs> you know, I just like looking back, I'm like, why? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was there was a reason why you didn't tell yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You no, know, yeah, it's exactly. He, he was just, you know, he he. The universe gave him to me to teach me things, I guess. You know, mm. as the universe does. Mm. Um, yeah. So he just he eventually was like, hey, you know, I know, I know what you're doing, and I kind of broke down because I felt, you know, I'm like I felt bad. Like I kept the secret from him. And, yeah. He was like, man, I, sh-. in the you know months and months later, he was like, I should have not let you. I should have told you to stop, and should have never let you do it. I'm like, what do you mean you shouldn't have let me do it? Like, I'm my own person. I can, if I want to do this, like I'm gonna do it. Like yeah. I understand yeah. that there's no going back. Like I understood that from the beginning. And I'm like, okay, if I go, if I do camming, and if I do show my face, like yeah it's like i can't there's gonna be content of me on the internet i mean even still my tumblr pictures some of my very first pictures i ever posted on the internet i can google my tumblr name and they pop up like even though tumblr no longer allows it and they're technically gone yeah they're still on the internet like like, you know so yeah he just he wasn't really a big fan but Mm. so that already created like tension between us 
and I, I wanted him to be a part of it. Like we would do, you know, like a private shows, like private Snapchat shows. Like I'd record us having sex or mm-hmm. no one can, like I record us, like we would do a little cam show together. Right. And he just, he didn't really want to be a part of it. Like I tried, like I'm, I wanted to include him in it, you know? Yeah. But yeah, he just, and it deep, just deep down, you already knew it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. It, it yeah. was, yeah. Like I'm like, cause I, I thought about porn and I'd even ask him like, would you still want to date me if I did adult films? Like if I did porn and he was like, no, I could never, I, I would never want to date you if you were a porn star. Like, man. Nah. So yeah. then I'm like, well, okay. And we'd have these conversations that would just circle back to, and it's like, we're not getting anywhere. Like we're yeah. talking about the same shit. Like we should just end things. Like, we can still be friends, you know. Yeah. But it's like I want to do this, yeah. and I no, do. It, sorry, sorry. Um, <clears throat> the the way the way it sounds is that like you you were trying to explore something that you were interested in, but at the same time you were hoping it's like there was a like a, a chink in the armor or a crack in the door or something like that, like some way that you could involve him with this uh, this interest, this this growing passion yeah. that you had. But as you said, like it was cyclical. It was just, it was going round and round and round and there was no forward movement at all. So no solution. Like he yeah. just mm, was not about it. <laughs> and you know, it, I, like not to psychoanalyze, but like it could have been a variety of things, but regardless, I mean, like you. Oh, there are the, yes. There was <laughs> many, many different factors that he, yeah. he was a great guy. He just mm. didn't, he got like kind of the shit end of the stick with life you know and some people do but they don't let it they don't let it change them they don't let it make them bitter and make them angry and he kind of let it make him bitter and angry so yeah but i'm glad i can cut that off and now (laughs) it's it's unfortunate but sometimes you just if you have have that i'm sorry yeah no go ahead i now porn has i'm in a new relationship now like porn has you know, I've never would have met this amazing man that now is like, he's my fucking soulmate. Like, yeah. him and I, we mesh so well together. And it's like, yeah, like I thought that that my ex was, you know, well, if I don't have him, then he was going to love me. But porn is like, well, there's a guy in the industry that he's just perfect for you. And then, yeah, <laughs> hey, great. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, good. I'm glad. You know, it, you know, you talk about universe and whatnot, and you talk about like how, things just kind of slammed together all at once and you know like you know everything was just kind of pointing in your direction of the world the universe what have you saying like all right this is the route you want to go we're going to give you every opportunity to walk through that door we just opened it for you yeah. what are you going to do yeah it, it really like yeah if you believe in god or i'm i consider myself more spiritual than religious mm. and yeah i just it's like there are if you really want something in life and you show you know the universe or whoever you believe in like hey this is something i really 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 want to do yeah it's always been in the back of my mind it it will happen for you 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 have to take the steps like if i didn't if i didn't reach out to sandra and be like hey like let's do this let's set this up you know it's like who who knows like i don't want to live my life with any regrets so yeah it's like the universe will open doors for you it's it's just yeah like life is incredible it's pretty cool absolutely uh, looking at your uh your your tip sheet that was sent to me here i mean you've you've ventured oh. into a lot of different genres within the adult industry there are lots of uh is it production companies or studio houses or film houses that you ha- are now attached to as well like you've you ventured into the vr world as mm-hmm. uh as a as a uh, an actress for vr videos i mean you've what? you've worked with some incredible uh studios and production companies within this past very short period of time yeah it's it's incredible i mean i mean <laughs> that's my man oh. um, <laughs> he uh are uh, yeah like it's there are lots of different uh production companies yeah like there's the kink side like fetish bdsm side there's vr there's like gonzo which is basically like 
old school to 80s porn. <laughs> yeah, like you're just like, hey, I'm Laney. I'm going to get fucked. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love Gonzo. It's yeah. probably like the easiest and, you know, easiest. Cause yeah. Porn isn't easy, but yeah. you just get to talk to the camera and just have a good time. But um, yeah, and then there's like Adam and Eve and Wicked and Axel Braun. Like they do like these huge fucking productions that you actually feel like you're doing a mainstream movie. Like, yeah. It's in, it, people think that porn is just like one little genre when it's like, no, there's all these different things that you can, you know, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. Adam and Eve is actually uh, like, they've, they've proven themselves to be uh, mm -hmm. a top level production company and an opportunity to work with them as well as uh, what's the big one that's actually started to sprout up over the past year. Um, uh, Pure taboo or taboo. Yeah. 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 Like that is that that is like storytelling, mm -hmm. as well as eroticism, and uh, like it's all wrapped together. I mean, so like to you said you prefer Gonzo because it's easy oh. and fun, but yeah. script wise, is there anything there for you? With Gonzo, it's you get in and out. Like your call times nine, ten, and you're out by two. But right. with the scripted, it is a lot. It's a lot longer of a process. Like there's you know you have to rehearse you have to you know get the camera angles all set up and they use these really nice expensive cameras that you know if you're if you move out of focus even just an inch like they got it's like nope sorry we got to do it again when, when, when talking about making stuff i mean you you've as you stated you've been in the industry for four years uh mm -hmm. during a pandemic no less my goodness yeah. congratulations um <laughs> but is there any other uh any other position or um any other uh field within the adult industry other than being in front of the camera that interests you oh yeah definitely i yeah. think it would be really cool to step behind the camera and get to create like my own porn you know i mean mm -hmm. whether it be <clears throat> like learning just learning how to work a camera or learning how to light a set in a way that looks good like i can use that and create my own content it's like i created my own content for like two years before i got into porn i guess right. so it's it's not that i'm burnt out on making content mm. but it's like it's, it's what i did for you know, before I got in. So now I, I do like to be in front, in front of the camera and to like be told what to do and, you know, like be the performer and not have to worry about like all the other things that come with creating content because I'm just a performer. I just get to, you know, I just do what I'm told. Right. Um, but it, I think it would be really cool to direct something or to even just write a script, like, you know, have, have a different part of, the creating process like learning how to edit like i really only know like basic editing skills <laughs> so right right it, it would just be cool to learn like how to work a camera how to fucking you know make something so if 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 anything ever were to happen where now i can't shoot for companies you know like let's say i, I move away or i you know anything happens i could still sit behind a camera and now okay i know what to do so i can make it and yeah and still be a part of it that's great. That's a great, great attitude and great uh, mindset to have. Um, speaking of making things, uh, you had an opportunity recently to work with an industry legend and uh, Wicked Studios. You worked with Stormy Daniels. How did that go? Oh my God, it was amazing. It was, it was so freaking cool. She is, she is really just incredible to work with, and she's really sweet and kind when you get to know her. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was, I just, and it was incredible to get to like, I mean, it was a Western, so. A Western? Yeah, I got to ride horses. I got to, you know, like be out in a barn and just mm. being away from the city and just getting to be in the country, like just the middle of nowhere, like just wide open fields and just horses and barns and really sweet people that had little country accents, you know, like it was just so, it was so amazing. Mm. Like, and it was really, it was challenging to, you know, I really had to, you know, what's the word? Mm, like 
embrace? No, I guess practice, but practice. yeah, like practice and like it was challenging in regards to this was a 60 page script. Like I, I've never done anything that was this massive before. Like this project was huge. It was like it, I mean, we're still, we're still shooting it. Like, we oh, wow. <laughs> Like it, it's, I just, it was, it's fun to be a part of something this big, you know, right. like it's, it's definitely hard. Like there were, we didn't really wrap till three, four in the morning every night. Like we were shooting all day, all night. Like, yeah, they were long days. Yeah. I got, I got bit up by fire ants on my foot, you know, <laughs> from, <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of things that, cause you know, it's it, not everything goes the way that it's supposed to go when you're shooting. Yeah. You know, sometimes the camera overheats or the battery or whatever. Um, so, yeah, it was definitely, it was just fun. I don't know. I feel like I'm just rambling about it. <laughs> no, it's no, just, no. It's fine. <laughs> I'm following along. You're doing absolutely great. It was so, it was so cool. Like, I don't know. I'm When I'm, when I think back to like five, six years ago and just like little old me, like, oh, I wonder what it would be like to mm. do this. And now like actually doing it and being a part of something big and like, it just was, it's, it's so cool. Like I, I don't know if it's kind of full circle. Like I, yeah, I don't know. That's awesome. No, that's awesome to hear. It sounds like you had a great experience and still working on it. As you said, you guys are still shooting. So that's awesome to hear. As I usually do, I ask uh, my followers on social media and Patreon if they would like to ask my guests a question. And there's a couple for you if you don't mind. Of course not. Uh, Amanda asks, uh, what type of hobbies are you interested in? Oh, that's a great question. Hobbies, I, I love painting. Um, I love hiking, going out and finding cool spots to, you know, explore. Um, fashion has also been a hobby of mine recently. Like I've been really getting into different styles and, you know, just different. I love makeup too. I mean, oh, wow. just, just a little girl, you know, <laughs> uh, amusement parks, I guess. Is that a hobby? Yeah, absolutely. We, I, my man, Brad and I, we go fucking Universal Studios, Six Flags, Disneyland, Knott's Berry Farm. I love just going out and having a good time and just, yeah, like getting a little adrenaline rush. It's <laughs> well, that's good. That's awesome. Yeah. That's absolutely a hobby. I, I, I consider myself a water a waterfall chaser with my girlfriend. We uh, mm-hmm. seek out waterfalls and do photo shoots on a regular basis. So I, I would co- I would consider amusement parks a hobby. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mark off of Patreon asks if you could choose a period piece film, what period would you like to film an adult? This is worded weird. Film an adult movie in like, like a, like a time frame kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. I'm guessing it's like maybe you want to be Victorian or the Gothic mm. era or something like that. Maybe I, the, I apologize. Well, you is- should have screened the question beforehand. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah. This is going to show the American education system right here in a nutshell <laughs> because I'm like, hmm. Uh, I, you know, the whole uh, like ancient Egyptian, like Cleopatra. Okay. Like, yeah. 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 I would love to do like something where it's, you know, like the sheets are all like, it just looks very like royal. And, you know, I, I love the, that era of, mm-hmm. you know, people and the architecture and you know the great pyramids and it's just yeah i think that'd be cool now there's a leaf blower oh god <laughs> <laughs> really i thought it was someone else listening just like in awe <laughs> <laughs> no i can see it i can see it like the silk sheets and the gold yeah. uh background with the sand and the structures and the blocks yeah, and the body painting exactly and yeah so. even even the worship hi <laughs> <laughs> We're almost done. Don't worry. Okay. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> one more question. This one is from Samantha asking, uh, if you haven't done one yet, would you consider doing something mainstream? I'm guessing that's not adult industry. Yes. Um, uh, I would absolutely love to do something in mainstream. I think like there, there has been a performers that have 
crossed over like Chloe Cherry. She mm-hmm. did Euphoria. You know, Marcus London was in Entourage. Mm-hmm. Sasha Gray did so many things. Like, I think it would be really, really amazing. Um, there might actually be something that I get to do in the future that's a mainstream movie next month. Oh, there cool. Might be something in the works. It's, yeah, I don't want to give too much away, but I think it would be really, really sick to. Because I love acting. I think it's really fun. And this guy back here has taught me a fucking shitload about acting because that's, that's what he did before he <laughs> Right on. <laughs> so, that's cool. Yeah, it's it's fun. Awesome. Um, so we'll, we'll wrap it up here. Where can people uh, follow you on uh, online, your social medias? I mean, promote yourself, please. Okay. I'm sorry that the, if the leaf blower is, is it's fine. Loud. Uh, you can find me. I'm on Twitter, um, just Laney underscore Gray X3. Mm. Um, I'm on Instagram at L I L underscore Laney Gray XO. Um, I'm on OnlyFans if you want to check that out. Uh, yeah. OnlyFans.com slash Miss Gray 420. And I think that's it. I mean, I don't really, yeah, just Instagram. I mean, my cam room, you can find me on camsoda.com slash marshmallow dash princess dash 420 uh it's a long name but that's my cam name or my cam room <laughs> you can also just find me on cam soda if you just google cam soda and then type in my name lady gray you can probably find me that way too awesome but yeah <laughs> <laughs> thanks for your time yeah thank you